everybody, this is Dave with Family RV. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to dump your cassette toilet. All right, so your cassette toilet is gonna to be located on the driver's side, once again, by your power cord and the wheel. Now this guy's gonna have a lock on it. It's gonna come with a key to unlock it. It's gonna be this little black key right here. We're gonna go ahead and unlock it. And we're gonna actually just push the two buttons right here and we're gonna open up the cassette storage. Now, as you can see, it's a little small storage spot. So the cassette is right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna see this blue handle right here. You're gonna actually lift this up to release it from being locked in. And you're simply just gonna pull it right out. And this is your cassette toilet, also known as your black tank. Now you can see it's not that big. This tank is about 4.5 gallons. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to dump this guy. All right, so we're gonna be showing you how to dump a cassette toilet. Now you don't have to carry this over. It actually has a handle underneath here where you can pop this guy up. You can actually wheel it around to the dump station so you're not carrying it. We're gonna go ahead and set this back down. Take a look right here. Now this is gonna be the opening to dump. This guy's simply gonna turn this way go ahead and unscrew the cap and this cap is also used to put chemical inside your tank when you're done now you're gonna leave this closed right here make sure this is closed right here and this is closed right here these are just some little features right here some air vents and stuff on that now when you're gonna pour you're gonna see a little blue button right here going to actually hold that button right there when you're dumping to get the airflow going. You're simply just going to put it like this. Now one of the good things about having a cassette toilet is you could actually stop at a rest area and dump it directly into a toilet at a restroom if you need to. Now once you're done dumping, you're gonna go ahead and make sure you put this cap back on. You're gonna actually open up this guy right here. You're gonna push this guy forward. This guy will open up the trap door right here and you could actually start putting chemical in there. You put a little bit of liquid chemical or powder chemical, one pack is good. You're gonna fill it up with water then you're gonna close this guy back up. You're gonna to wanna to swish it a little bit to get all that chemical in there. Fill it up with a little bit more water, and then you're gonna redump it. Now you can do this multiple times until the tank is fully cleared out. Now, I recommend that after you're done dumping this cassette, you go ahead and drop like a liquid bottle in there for deodorizer and to clean it out. All right, so after we dump the cassette, we're gonna be putting it back into the storage spot right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this cap is on nice and tight. We're gonna actually push this guy this way. Then we're gonna open up this, and we're gonna make sure that this trap door right here is open. So before you put it back in, this has gotta be open, okay? That's all you do is just turn it like this, make sure it's open. Then we're gonna put this other top, we're gonna slide this guy back in like that. What that's gonna do when we put it back, this is gonna catch inside here and it's gonna automatically open by itself. So it's gonna go, you're just gonna put it back in like this. Push it until you hear the click and it's locked in and then we can go ahead and close that. All right, everybody, thanks for watching our video today. Uh, I'm Dave from Family RV. We're located in Morgan Hill, California. We do rentals, sales, and service and auto body work. So hit us up, let us know what you think about this video, and we'll see you next time.